Uh, hello, hello. My name is Mr. Zoo Nation, but you can call me Zoo. So I think it was stupid to put up an introduction video and a discussion video up in two videos where I can just give you a quick introduction and just do the discussion right after. So what do I do on my channel? Everything Vanguard related. I do discussions, I do rants, I give my opinions on shit, I do car reviews, clan reviews, all in between of that. I'm also going to do some matches here and there. I'm going to tell some fucking stories. And we're also going to get some vines up in this bitch. Because Yu-Gi-Oh Yugi, Yugi, had enough vines, bruh. Matter of fact, Yu-Gi-Oh had enough Yu-Gi-Tubers. We have enough Magic YouTubers. We have enough Pokemon YouTubers. We don't have enough Vanguard YouTubers, man. We need some more Vanguard YouTubers up in this bitch. And I'm here to give up my two cents, motherfucker. Anyway. Now that I got all ghetto with you and shit. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe because you like Vanguard. Like, comment, and subscribe because you can like, comment, and subscribe. Like because it's a video. Comment because I love criticism and I love people's opinions. Also, Wells giving my own. And subscribe because what the shit. Now that I bored you with this boring ass introduction, stand up, nickel. So now that I bored you with that boring ass intro, let me just get straight up to the point of the video. Now this is I uh, decided since this is my first video on the channel. I'll do something for the beginner players, and this is pretty much what kind of deck to choose and whatnot. And I thought this is like the appropriate background because this is what is one of isn't this like episode sixty something? Yeah, episode sixty something when he like became into the Sequoia and shit. But anyway, um, yeah. I like to point out that uh, no matter what car game it is, rather it's you know, this one, Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, Magic the Gathering, outside of learning the game, is what clan should I run? And pretty much is one of the most difficult decisions to make because you got to worry about, for one, the dude is just starting. You got to start the dude on a budget. It makes no sense to buy something like Bermuda Triangle, and that shit costs about over 300 fucking dollars just to realize that the nigga doesn't like the game, and he quits it, and that's pretty much like three $500 out the door. <laughs> just because he wanted to experience and try out a game, and he or she didn't like it, so... and But they wasted so much fucking money on it. <laughs> But anyway, uh, also, you have to worry about the learning curve to the clans. Because, I mean, there's, you can recommend somebody a trial deck, but, I mean, most of the G trial decks, like, has either a very hard learning curve, or you have to put more than just a trial deck into it just to actually come up with some decent shit for it. So it's like, okay, I'll give you a prime example. Um, Royal Paladins, the, uh, the G boost, the G trial deck three is pretty interesting because it's Royal Paladins. Royal Paladins is a very beginner friendly clan, but if you're to put in a sense of a player who has never really had card game experience before then it'll be kind of sort of a very hard learning curve for it because they don't have too much car game experience and I don't know maybe just for the fact that trying to learn a clan trying to learn a clan from a very hard learning curve would at the same time trying to learn how to play the game and then you're going against shit like I don't know, Link Joker which pretty much ruins World Paladins and shit. 
especially the trial deck version. I mean, that's not going to be a very good like site to look at. I mean, you also got to worry about the anti-meta if you really think about it. And then you have clans with a very hard learning curve, like Pale Moon is a prime example. I feel, in my opinion, that any deck that requires soul charging as their main mechanic is just very hard to learn because you ha it really depends on what you soul charge and sometimes what you soul charge can make and break the game. Like there will be times when I'll play Pale Moon and every time I soul charge, I soul charge nothing but triggers. There was one time I soul charged nothing but triggers and that cost me the game hella bad. And it's pretty much mostly like a luck factor type thing. So trying to somebody to put that much luck on one clan and trying shit out like that is just that's 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 bad. You're you're it, it's just all going to end up bad. Probably tell them when him or her when they learn the game more. Probably if they want to try it out, then do so. I mean, to be honest, I think they should eventually, after learning the game, try out whatever clan they want to, see if they like it, see if they hate it. But, so I guess, if you really think about it, you what you want and what they really need to look for is a clan that is budget-friendly, has a very easy learning curve, but can also keep up with the competition all at once. And my conclusion to all this leads to Kagero. It leads to Kagero because it's pretty much the oldest clan in the game. It has a shit ton of support. It has enough support to make a budget version, an expensive ass version, and even in between and it has like a way where you don't really spend too much fucking money on the clan and too much on trying to find the cards and at the same time have that thing where even I'm even if you're playing a budget build of it you're still getting wins all out of it even though there's like a lot of clans you can kind of build budgetly and still get wins but at the same time got to realize how easy you'll get those wins with and Kagura was just the only thing because it's straightforward all it is is retire attack retire attack I mean that's all Kagura really is there's a re-standing the vanguard here and there but I mean if you really think about it all it is is clear the field and then attack for as much attack as you can possibly I mean it's very straightforward I mean, remember, back in the day, this was like, because of how straightforward this clan was, this is like one of the most used clans in the game. I remember there was at one point, said, I don't remember if it was all of the um, nations, I do remember it was in Japan for sure, that 50% of the players in the, in the game were using Kagero. And I was like, Jesus! <laughs> Now it's kind of like, now it's kind of like, oh, everybody's using Shadow Towers now. That's like the most used clan right now. Every time I see like the thing about the whole tournaments of who won, and then they show like the results of what was the most used clan, it's always Shadow Towers. <laughs> Look at the support. Like, let me go down a little bit. Like, that's like a lot of booster sets. And then like keep going down. Look at that shit. This is just Gray Zero. And then that's grade one. And then that's grade two. And then that's grade fucking three. <laughs> and then even if I go to TCG player right here, um, it has 290 fucking results. Oh, shit. It has 290 fucking results. Okay, that was some pretty much bullshit. But anyway, man. My computer is fucking up. Look at this shit. There's like 
82 grade 3. Well, I can't really say that's 82 completely because some of that is just um, the triple rares and the SP rares. And, they, and uh, usually CCG player likes to put like all the triple rares and SP rares as separate cards. So I can't really say it's 82. So more like 60 something. Yeah, more like around the range of 60. So, uh, that's why I feel that Kagro should be, like, the main clan. Even the, even the strides don't really cost much. Let me see. Yeah, that's why I just feel that Kagro should be, like, the one clan and everybody. Look at that shit. 25. Okay, that dude's, like, 13. That dude's pretty good, though. No, wait, that's the SP. No wonder. Okay, that dude's like five for regular. Yeah, see, this doesn't really cost much. And even like the holy shit. Um. Damn, that nigga's thirty dollars. Shit. But anyway, um. <laughs> Man. Even some of the uh, even some of the cheaper ones doesn't really have too much of a bad effects. I mean, they have pretty decent effects, actually. So, yeah, that's why I think that uh, Kagro should be the number one clan that everybody should pick when they begin the game. In my opinion. That's just me. Um, there's other beginner-friendly clans, but I just, like I said, I just feel that Kagro is just the one because it's budget friendly, it's beginner friendly, and it can still keep up with the competition. So that's it for one of many versions of how to build a deck or what clan should you I mean pretty much anything of deck building in general. This is just one of many. So of course I'm gonna do some for like expert players, I'm gonna do some for beginners, so for now, this is Mr. Zoo signing out.